What's up guys, Just Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got today's roundup or transfer news. And unfortunately, there are no confirmed deals to cover today, but there are a lot of potential juicy deals that could go through uh, in this transfer window, guys. But before we go any further, as always, if you smash 1,000 fire likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're to my channel, class subscribe button for more. And in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumors and our rumors I should do in the next episode. Also, yesterday's videos will be down below in that description box. I've done a transfer video as well as winning the Bundesliga tournament to unlock team of the season Sané item guys so apologies for the morning voice I've just woken up I'm recording this quite early today because I wanted to get up for midday and I wanted to include some fresh new deals in there as well but unfortunately like I mentioned no confirmed deals today so the first one today is going to, to do with this man Joey Barton and he's actually held Burnley get promotion this season from the championship to the Barclays Premier League but it looks like he's going to be on his way because they offered him a one year extension but he wanted more than that and it's pretty common knowledge now as a lot of news outlets are saying this but apparently he was visiting Ibrox yesterday and also the club's training facilities to see how it is and uh, apparently he is on the verge of uh, signing a three-year contract and would of course be a free transfer he would also follow Jordan Roster who left uh, Liverpool to join Rangers the other day and next up we've got Mikel Arteta and uh, as you can see he's got a Man City badge but apparently this isn't as a player apparently uh, according to uh, what is it Manchester Evening News Arsenal midfielder Mikel Arteta is close to becoming part of Pep Guardiola's backroom staff at Man City next season so he could potentially be retiring and that'd be quite an interesting one to see how that develops Next up, we have got Fernando Torres, and yesterday I covered that Besiktas were interested, but apparently he has confirmed that Atletico are now negotiating a permanent move for him. So the former Liverpool and Chelsea striker has actually already confirmed it, and he's in a great run of form right now for Atletico, and it's not a surprise they want to keep him on for uh, future seasons. And then next up, then we go on to Pablo Osvaldo, and this guy, he's known as being a bit of an arsehole. Uh, he was at Southampton, he was at previous clubs, and apparently now he's been released yet again this time by Boca Juniors. And the article reads that ex-Southampton frontman Daniel Osvaldo has had his Boca Juniors contract terminated after arguing with coach Guillermo Barros Goleto and are being found smoking on a toilet. So uh, make of that what you will. It's quite a strange one to be honest and uh, doesn't really surprise me. Next up we've got Nathan Redmond today linked to Stoke. And this one says that Stoke is set to revive their interest in Nathan Redmond following Norwich's relegation and uh, this one's quite interesting because uh, when clubs get relegated, there's, there tends to be a few players here and there scattered about um, that could play or deserve to play at a higher level. Nathan Redwood definitely comes into that category. He's still young, still got a lot of potential, and he definitely knows how to take a man on. But apparently also uh, linked in today are Crystal Palace and also uh, West Ham United, where they're apparently around a £9 million mark would get him. Tottenham have been dealt a massive blow in Villarreal's or Dennis Suarez after apparently it's emerged that Barcelona wants to activate the buyback clause just one year after selling him to Villarreal. So he was exactly a very good season this year and uh, Barca apparently can buy him back after one year for just 2.5 million pounds I'm not going to claim that I've watched him a lot this season but I have watched him for two games and uh, both of them were in the Europa League semi-final against us but the very first leg he was extremely good and looked very good on the ball and I know he was a former Man City prospect and stuff for that as well so uh, for 2.5 million pounds whether they keep or not we'll have to wait and see or whether they just uh, kind of sell him on for a lot more again uh, that will have to develop over the summer and then we have got Florian Tovan this time of Newcastle United sent out on loan uh, back to Marseille, I think it was today, linked to Inter Milan. So it says that Inter Milan are plotting a shock summer move for out of favour Newcastle winger Florian Tovan. Uh, the Frenchman is coming towards the end of a season long loan at Marseille after failing to make an impression at St. James's Park last term. So he was quite a hyped up big money signing uh, back in uh, last summer for Newcastle. Obviously, relegation means that he'll probably look for a new club. We've got a couple of quick fire ones. This first one is going to be Roma actually denying that Miralan Pjanic is not for sale. And uh, the other day it came out that um, Roma basically willing to sell him and that a bid was made and it would activate his buyout clause but apparently that is all bullshit and that doesn't like it will be happening. The Spanish journalist Guillaume Balagui has said that Chelsea want Gonzalo Higuain. Chelsea want to replace Diego Costa with Napoli striker Higuain this summer according to the respected Spanish journalist Guillaume Balagui. So uh, this one's kind of on and off. Higuain is linked to absolutely everyone. Yesterday I think he broke like a, a Serie A record for most goals or something. What I'm aware of, he scored 36 goals, which was the first time someone's done that in uh, a donkey's years. I don't know how many it is, but it's a long, long time. And Higuain is definitely a, a world-class striker, although he does tend to bottle big moments like in the World Cup and stuff like that. Next up, we've got Fabregas today, linked back to Spain. So the first part of the article and the title of it is a quote from Fabregas apparently saying, I would return to Spain. And apparently he'd play for another Spanish club apart from Barcelona, which is obviously his boyhood club. And uh, the next bit 
says that he's open to a Real Madrid move. Don Ballon is the source, and I think this is a journalist possibly. It says that Cesc Fabregas is keen to leave Chelsea and return to Spain, and though a return to Barcelona is not possible, he would be open to joining Real Madrid with Florentino Perez has shown an interest. And now we have the big Belgian Christian Benteke, yeah, the 32 and a half mil flop, which is regarded as uh, by Liverpool fans and essentially everyone. So this guy, I think if we'd signed him for 15 mil, we'd say, you know what? That was a good signing because he's got 10 goals a season or ever 11 goals and he's done himself kind of uh, okay because he's, he's been on the bench a lot of the time recently and there's a reason for that. He slows us uh, play down so much and we just aren't a, we aren't a team that requires a target man and that showed with Andy Carroll and also Ricky Lambert. But apparently Brendan Rodgers never learned about that and uh, bought Christian Benteke but apparently he wants to stay at Liverpool and uh, fair play to him. There's actually a, uh, like a full interview on Liverpool Echo and apparently he said he wants to stay. He didn't just sign for one season. Personal I'd rather we cash in on him because I don't think it'll work and no matter how much he tries I don't think he'll ever suit our system because he can be good with his feet he's shown how good he can be at Aston Villa and uh, previous occasions for Belgium as well but honestly for Liverpool he's had moments he scored some bangers there but in general play he doesn't seem to work and now the keep are saying that PSG are going to make Martial contact and uh, that's quite an interesting one because PSG have made contact with Anthony Martial's representatives as they plot a summer move from Manchester United forward and this one could tie in with the fact that Ibra is leaving. So one or two things, either every single young striker that's got a lot of potential about them or showing a lot of class uh, will be linked to PSG or every current top striker uh, that currently potentially could move the likes of Griezmann and stuff will obviously all be linked to uh, PSG. So we'll have to probably like fill out a few here and there. They will sign someone because they'll have to replace Ibra, but who will have to wait and see this summer. And then we have got Loris Karius, a German goalkeeper today who is currently in the team of the season Bundesliga today linked to Liverpool. And this is according to Bill. They're suggesting that Liverpool are closing in on the signing of Mainz goalkeeper uh, Karius, though the 22-year-old wants to wait and see if the Reds are in Europe next season before completing his move. So that's quite, that's understandable with Liverpool winner, obviously the Europa League on Wednesday, we do get Champions League football next year. And obviously that'd be a upgrade on uh, currently Simon Mignolet. Then we have got, uh, there's actually a, a manager on today and that is going to be Jose Mourinho. So there's two sides to this, one saying yes, one saying no. The very first one is Sky Sports Italia. And they're saying that Jose Mourinho will replace Lou Van Gaal as Manchester United manager at the end of the season. The Portuguese uh, manager has not officially signed a contract, but is in a matter of hours from being confirmed as the club's new boss. But that was the other day, and now Sky Sports UK have come back and said, no, it's not been agreed. So the English version says he's not agreed anything, and apparently Everton, I saw the other day in like a newspaper, apparently Everton want him, so uh, that, that's quite a strange one. But still, Mourinho still yet to find a club. Next up, we've got Gilfie Sigerson today linked to the Premier League champions Leicester City. There are various sources saying this and they said that Leicester City are plotting a £15 million move for the Swansea City star Gil uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson as they plan the defence of the Barclays Premier League title. So he's a very good set piece merchant. Um, uh, that's saying like he can't do anything else. He's a very good player, sorry. Um, but definitely has a great set piece on him and a, a fantastic free kick. Next up we've got the, the wonder kid Brill Donald Mbolo. And today according to Sky Sports Gossip Column, Tottenham are lining up a £20 million move for the Basel striker Mbolo as they look to add to their forward ranks. Uh, also, there's, there's a Isaac Success of Granada, apparently an option as well. So that's quite a cool name. And apparently, I think it's today I saw in a, uh, an interview, Pochettino says he wants to, wants to upgrade his squad and uh, potentially go for the Pro League next season. And now we've got a huge one according to Gianluca Damaso, who's quite a respected journalist in Italy. And he is saying that Atletico have met agents of Edison Cavani. So that one, that one's huge. That will be a massive one. And surprising given the fact that Ibra just left PSG and potentially Cavani could be following suit. So they're saying that Atletico Madrid have held a meeting with the agent of PSG striker Edison Cavani as they plot a move for the Uruguay International. No fear has been mentioned though. And next up, we have got Rafael Varane today linked to Manchester United again, according to Daily Star. And this is a double deal. So according to Daily Star, Manchester United are in discussions over a sensational double sweep for Roger centre-back Rafael Varane and also this guy next to him, uh, Jean Mario, who is a uh, highly dubbed Portuguese midfielder. The Red Devils will have to spend £30 million pounds to get Varane, and they also have to, have to pay £45 million to get Jean Mario. So, two massive signings, and uh, possibly two names pulled out of a hat again, because uh, it seems that, I think yesterday it came out that they, they kind of, like, they hesitated to sign Rato Sanchez, who obviously now went to uh, Bayern Munich, and it looks like they're just probably going to try and link as many people as possible. And now we've got another huge one according to AS, and they're saying that Javier Rodriguez potentially could go to Arsenal, although 
although uh, Rondon unlikely to sell. So basically this article reads that Arsenal are the latest Premier League club to show an interest in Rondon's out of favour Hamas Rodriguez that they face competition from Manchester United and also Man City. But just because they're interested doesn't mean that they're signing but it's, it's quite common logic that um, and it also means that Rondon probably won't sell him because this guy cost him a lot of money and just because he's not playing that much right now um, he's not currently in Zidane Zidane's uh, kind of like squad or ma main 11 but after wait and see he could potentially work his way in there if he keeps working hard. Next up we've got Matthew Flamini linked to Middlesbrough. This is according to Daily Star they said that newly promoted Middlesbrough are targeting a summer move for Arsenal midfielder Matthew Flamini. The former AC Milan man is out of contract this summer meaning that he would be a free agent and would be a, an experienced player to add to their squad to potentially fight for survival next season. And the final one today is going to be Eric Bailly. I think that's how you say his name. The Ivory Coast centre back today linked to AC Milan. And this is according to Fishers.net. They're saying that AC Milan have open talks with very high centre back uh, Eric Bailly, who would be available for around 10 million euros. So not the biggest of fees. And he was pretty solid against Arsenal. No, um, statistically has been very solid this term for Villarreal. Right, and guys, that covers all of today's potential transfers. And uh, again, no confirmed ones today, but there are a lot of rumours that potentially could go through with the next, uh, say, pretty month or so, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. What does on fire is like to be absolutely awesome. If you do my channel, click subscribe button for more. And in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumours that rumours I should do in the next episode, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.